Yo, what up, Vibe Gang? This your boy JT, and I'm back with another video. Um, and this is gonna be a combo, dogs. Like, this is Danger Dogs, man. We out here playing the win. And um, yeah, I think this deck is like the dangerous add like something where you can trigger your dogs and you can get more cards and you can play cards like Alert now to like even let your Ario do even more. So like, that's why I'm gonna play this version. So start off with two Bigfoot, two Mothman, one Nessie, two Jack. Uh, two snack and uh, we play Farfetch as a tech just as something you can toss off of the straw fusion. We make wind just so you can kind of banish stuff and you can kind of like just poke for like damage because the big thing with this is you want to make like things like Apple Lucer IP and literally just like follow up on your next turn to make Chambara or uh, Boral Sword just attack the game. Uh, that's why you play cards like also like Luna. Yeah, Luna's gonna help you make cards like Dweller a lot easier and it's gonna um, help you be like final pieces or extra pieces to make like App uh, App well Appaloosa and also IP with like IP wind and an extra piece so that you can like make things like unicorn and spin stuff. And then we play three copies of Mathematician because it literally tutors out all the stalls as well as it gives you like uh, extra piece if you need something like uh, if you get extra piece you can send like juggler to get a uh, hat tricker and do stuff next we play one ariel ariel works really good with alert it looks really good with alert and luna so like that's two big like pieces also it's gonna be your piece that helps you make annoy tillis uh two damage juggler a hat tricker and a trick clown uh, those are gonna be your lights except for hat tricker obviously uh those gonna be your lights to fuel your um <clears throat> To fuel your construct to make sure that he plays, that he's able to like do the things he needs to do, as well as uh, that's free specials. Then uh, two windy, windy, like it just lets you special out your straws, it lets you do everything you want it to ever do, and like it, to me, it's like the perfect card that should all need it. Um, also, level three can come up just because of with Falco and that uh, you can easily make Champara. Next, you play two should all beasts. Uh, two Shadal Dragon, two Falco, uh, one Hedgehog, and uh, two Squamata. That kind of rounds up the Shadal engine. Um, like, I, I think this is like the perfect Shadal engine. Like, like maybe you could have cut a beast or something, but I think like you need that beast for turn two as well to get that extra card. So that's why I kept the second beast. Um, three copies of Alert Darkness. I think that's like amazing in this deck because you have so many like uh like extra copies of stuff that getting rid of stuff um to get like two new cards is like really good especially since um let's say Ariel can get back stuff which is really good uh two copies of Elshadaw Fusion um a Foolish a Foolish is literally gonna be any other card you need to be and three Shadaw Fusions um I didn't play Super Poly again in this build because because like I, I don't know. Like, I think Super is a really strong card, but like, um, when you want to go for like your other fusion instead of Winda, your your opponent's not really playing like darks and lights like anymore. Sure, Luna likes playing like dark monsters, but like they can recover really easily from you like Super Poly taking like their dark monster. So like, um, I just don't see it being great. Plus, against like the rogue matchups, uh, or not even like rogue matchups, like like decks like Alter Guys, like. I don't just want to lose because I like I have like this card in my hand when it could have been like anything else to help me like play through and win. And I didn't make a side deck because I did it. I did it. I like I just feel like the side deck is always player's choice. Sure, if it's a deck profile, I post side deck because it's like it's what someone used. But but when I'm just showing decks I build, I, I don't want to like make a side. Like sure, cards like Lightning Storm will be in here. Uh, you can play cards like Easy Match and things like that. Easy Match might be the best card of the format. A bit better, maybe. Well, Lightning Storm might be a little bit better just because it's like it, it, it can deal with stuff in the main menu. Uh, but the extra deck is one Annoyed Tillis, uh, one two the new guy. I'm not gonna butcher his name. Two Construct and a Shack. Uh, th uh, then we play three copies of Winda just because most of your deck is for card. To get out, to get out a window, and like everything else, you play three of it. Um, um next we put the Appaloosa. Uh, 
The reason you make Abelusa is because I think Abelusa helps you with any brew and stuff when you want to combo and, and uh, in with maybe like IP and stuff. So like you can make Abelusa fairly easy. The dangers help with that. Um, as well as with that, uh, Wendy also helps with that a lot. And your Fusion and Ocean off you can also help with that. Uh, one IP, then one Phoenix, uh, one copy of Unicorn. Just, I thought Unicorn's really good with the IP, so <coughs> that's why I play that. And then Dweller um, with Luna and any level 4 pretty much, Dweller becomes a lot easier in this deck. Uh, you have cards like Mothman, Luna, Dance Juggler, Trey Clown, all level 4, including Squamata and Drain. Um, and these two cards are going to be cards that are going to be like OTK cards. Like Chambara, uh, like if you're on your second turn or if you go second, it can easily punch through a lot of stuff and do a lot of damage. And same with Portal Sword. Um, if you guys have any comments or any other decks you want to see play, uh, just leave them just leave them down below in the uh, comments, and I'll get to them, and I'll try to make some cool decks for you guys, or some cool versions of decks that you want to see. Uh, I have nothing else to say. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you feel the vibe.